everybody. My name is John Ajo, and I take a lot of pictures. Some of them happen to be at night. So from darkness, great things can take place and surprising things too. When I first moved here from Florida, what blew me away was how much less color there was intensity-wise than over in Florida, because I'm used to more technicolor shots, things that pop a little more. And in Arizona, there's awesome scenery, but a lot of times you only end up with six or seven colors, if that, and it's kind of dustiness and tones don't really pop. So what I did is I made a bunch of high power LED lights. Each one have four one watt colors in them. And I found interesting stuff to shoot. And then I made the magic happen. Now, it doesn't seem like much, but for me, where I was at before when I got here, it was a new place, a little bit depressed. And this gave me something to focus on. The beautiful part about doing this is that during the day, you go out and things kind of look the same and you're like, well, this is a good shot, but the color's just not there. Well, I can just come back at night, light things up and get it pretty crazy. Like right here, the cactus, the colors, they're pretty wicked, but some people would say, well, why don't you just do that in Photoshop? And I'm like, I'm lazy. I'm really, really, really lazy. You do this in Photoshop, you're gonna be there forever trying to get all that detail right, and you're still not gonna get it right. Because of the way the lights are set up, they're not perfect, they're kind of in a line, which if you do this yourself, you can put them out you want, but mine are kind of in a line, so you end up with colors that go a little bit weird. Now, they're tough to do with Photoshop. But with this, the colors pop, they're really crazy. I mean, the white stucco walls, during the day, they're kind of like, yeah, it's a wall, what are you gonna do with it? Vehicles, they're cool, but at night you can light them up and do really neat things. And if you don't like what you did, you can just walk over there, turn the light boxes to a different color, and pop it something else. Now, what this is called is um, painting with light, which you can do with almost anything from a flashlight, a laser pointer, which I don't have. I think if I shined it in the audience here, I'd probably get tackled. But you can even do it with tail lights all kinds of stuff. But what I did is I kind of used high intensity lights and the difference with my way of doing things versus many other people's is that this stuff pops and it's much higher power and the time intensity goes from two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes with traditional methods to just eight to 15 seconds the width of how I'm doing it and still popping a really good picture. So effectively I'm able to run and gun do a lot of neat stuff at night, like do this stuff, and then do many more setups, try more stuff, get more creative in some ways. Now granted, I lose some fine control versus some other methods, but for me, this is what really gets me going, is just going, taking something that people go, oh yeah, it's neat, and then turning into this. Um, the neat thing about this, besides you know, creating Ella, what is it, draggy landscapes almost, but not quite, is that you can take and turn almost anything into fun. Um, at night, someone happened to walk through my shot, so I was like, well, let's see what happens. I'm not gonna see anything. And they had a camera there with a little light on the back of it. I think it was their phone or something. And then these stucco walls totally suck up the light. Now, if you wanna do this yourself, you need a camera with a tripod, and on that tripod with the camera, you're gonna want something that has bulb mode, which means that when you press the trigger, it opens, and then when you press the trigger again later, it closes. Most point and shoots don't have it, but they have like a self timer, you turn the flash off mode. But with DSLRs, you can, almost all of them have the bulb mode, so you can do this if you wanted to do this yourself. So basically, I already talked about the tripod with the bulb exposure, the remote control so you don't have any camera shakes. When you're taking a picture for 15 seconds or 20 seconds and you shake it, it doesn't work so good. But finding a place that's dark is awesome. Now this schematic, there'll be a test on this. But no, really. Um, at the table outside, I have a sheet that has instructions where you can get some stuff. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Each one of these boxes isn't that hard to build. And I would like to end this with a happy face. <laughs>